Hello and thank you for joining me for another tutorial on Lightroom for beginners. Today I'm going to talk about the clone tool and you can find that tool up here in this menu. It's the second uh, icon circle with an arrow off to the right. Click on that and it gives you a small menu below. Your first choices to make are whether you want to use the clone feature or the heel. I usually use heel and the reason for that is that heel tends to blend a little bit better, whereas clone will take exactly what you've identified as what you want to clone. There are times when that's really effective and you can use that. I like to use heel. I encourage you to try both and see which one you like better for whatever it is you're working on. So just below that is a slider for the size and this adjusts the size of the area of the um, tool that you're using and you can see as I slide it back and forth it gets very small or it gets larger. The slider below that is feather and that changes the area between the inner circle and the outer circle. So if I want a lot of feathering or blending so that the edges are not noticeable, I can increase that feather area quite a bit. If I'm not worried about that, I don't need a lot of feathering, I can pull it down and have very little. I like to keep it about a third of the way. The next uh, feature is opacity. Now, opacity at 100% means that whatever I hover over on my um, image and clone, it will completely cover whatever area I've identified if I have it at 100%. If I pull it down to say 30 or 40, it will allow part of the original pixels to show through the new area. So for example, there's a spot on my cement floor here. If I click on that while I have the opacity at 30, Lightroom gives me an option to uh, use this area here to heal it, but you can still see a little bit of that spot. Let me try another one that might be a little more obvious. Actually, let's magnify this so you can see it really well. I can either click on the image because I have my little magnifying glass with the plus in it, or I can come over here to the navigator here on the left side and select either one-on-one, -on -one, which is zooming it to 100%, or some other thing that I may have, some other size I may have uh, set prior, but I'll do one-on-one. -on -one. And I can either scroll with my mouse to move that square over the area that I want, or I can go to the navigator window, click on the square and pull it down. Now here you can see a big spot on my um, cement floor in the garage, and I wanna get rid of that. So I'm gonna click on the clone tool I've got my opacity at 30%. I don't need my tool quite that large, so I'll come down about that much. And you can see I have a fair amount of feathering. Click on it. Lightroom chooses something fairly close by. I've got it on heel. If I had it on clone, it might be a little different, but I think because of the 30%, you're not really going to see that. But it allows 30% of that to still show through. If I want to completely remove that spot, I'll come over to Opacity and move it up to 100%. And there you can see that is exactly covered over by this area here. And I can move that around just a little bit. Let's see if you can see the difference with Clone right now. Just a little. So let's go back to full screen. And that is how opacity works for this. I normally keep it on 100%, but not always. <clears throat> so this image that I have is um, these hands cutting some wire to create uh, a, a wreath out of some willow branches. And uh, I want to remove some of the shadows and highlights on the veins in the hands. And I also want to remove some spots here on the cement floor. The other thing I wanted to show you before I start showing you uh, this is 
down at the bottom, underneath your image, there's a little slider here called Visualize Spots. This is fantastic. If you think you've got specs on your sensor or your lens, you can click on that and Lightroom converts it to this and shows you where the spots are. It also shows you where I did some uh, cloning before. Let me see if I can remove those. I'll go back to here and get rid of those. Now, if I move this slider down or up, it changes what is highlighted. And so there's a lot of texture in this image. I wanna go down to visualize spots at a pretty low opacity. Now, these little specks that we see here are probably just little uh, remnants of the branches that are on the floor, but we can see them really well here and we can remove them from here. Uh, one other thing I wanted to tell you about size, changing the size, in addition to the slider, I can also use my bracket keys, left and right, uh, right to make it bigger, left to make it smaller. I can also, if I'm using a mouse, roll up and down, back and forth, to make that spot a little different size. So I've got it at a pretty good size for this. I'm going to click over that and allow Lightroom to choose where it's going to um, copy data from. And if I had specs on my sensor, if that's what these were, I can remove those just like that. Oftentimes you will see specs in skies or uh, areas that have a lot of negative space, they show up quite well. In this particular image, I do think that these are um, bits and pieces from the branches, but that's how you use the Visualize Spots tool. I'm gonna turn that off now. And uh, I'm going to start cleaning up this image a little bit. I wanna get rid of this spot on the floor that I had done before. And uh, I'm just rolling my finger up and down my mouse to change the size. I find that to be really easy to do and um, kind of my preferred way. So the other thing that you can do, you don't have to just stick with circles. You can click and hold and drag and you can make different shapes, uh, whatever you want to do. And depending on what it is you're wanting to clone, um, that works really well. So what I want to work on now are these hands and I want to get in really close. So I'm going to go back up here to my navigator and go to 100% and I'm going to move the box up here. That's a little too close. I'll go to the next size up. So I want to reduce the highlights and shadows on the hands here. And so what I'm going to do is come down, make my cursor circle about that size and I do not want to remove all of the shadows and light that will make the hand look very flat it won't look natural at all and we're gonna smooth out the skin a little bit as well later but to reduce these highlights and shadows on the hands this is what we're going to do we're gonna pull down the opacity to about uh, 40 percent is usually good I think and my size is dictated by the size of the area that I'm going to want to clone. And then I'm gonna move the feathering up just a bit so that I don't have a real line of demarcation here. So I will not try to do the entire area at once. I'm gonna click and hold and drag down and start here. Now Lightroom has chosen something down here. I really want the texture to be the same as the back of the hand up here. So I'm gonna move this up alongside of where I was cloning and release. Now I can see here that the shadows and light are still a little too strong. So I'm gonna raise that opacity up. Let's go up to 55 and release and see how that looks. Not bad, I'm gonna go up a little bit more. That's better. Okay, I'm gonna continue on, uh, get, hover, hover over the area, click and hold and drag down. And we don't want that finger area. We'll try up here and see what that looks like. Uh, maybe on the other side. Okay, next area I wanna do is this little shadow here. 
and that's a little too much texture so I'm going to pull this down a little closer and then the last shadow I want to do is this one here I could lighten that with my um, brush but I'm gonna use the clone tool and see how that works so we've left some of the texture still we have left some of the shadows and light and I think that'll work out well. So I'm going to release the spot removal tool by clicking on it. And let's move out and see how that looks now. I think that actually looks pretty good. If I want to see what the before and after are like, I'll click on this um, little toggle switch right here. And uh, that's before and after. Now if I want to get rid of the spots, if I don't want to see those spots, I can come down here to where it says tool overlay and I have it clicked on always because I always like to see where I've worked with the spot tool or the cloning tool, um, but you can choose auto which removes those or they did when you're hovering off the uh, image. If you hover on it shows them and there's other options as well, selected and newer, or never, sorry, never. I'll keep it on always for now. But I think that looks pretty good. The shadows are still there so that we can still see that there's a hand. I think I'm gonna reduce the shadow right here as well. Coming back to the clone tool, I'll identify that, click and hold. And I certainly don't want to choose this over here, so I'm going to click in the middle on that dot, click, hold, and drag it back to where I want it. And again, keeping texture uh, with opacity at 65 and blending with the heel feature. So we talked about uh, changing the size of the clone tool. We talked about using the feather slider. We talked about opacity. Sometimes you'll want it at 100% and sometimes you will not. We also talked about visualizing the dust spots down at the bottom here. Uh, so if we go back to full, take off the tool. This hand looks okay. It might need a little more of the shadows introduced back into it. I'm going to work with um, softening the skin a little bit and removing a few of the shadows here and see how that works. But that's how you use the clone tool. And if you have any questions, please ask. I hope that helps and uh, I will see you next time. We're going to talk a little bit about red eye and uh, graduated filter. Thanks for watching.